It's correct besides that. Um, okay, so for um, my last one, I think this will be fairly quick. Um, so the International Space Station orbits Earth at um, with a period. Uh, actually, no, it makes a, with a frequency of 15.65 revolutions per day. Um, assuming a circular orbit, how high is the satellite above the surface of the Earth? Um, I don't know what that R is that's given in the question there. Um, the radius for Earth is 6.371 uh, times 10 to the 6 meters. Um, so I'm just going to ignore that R. Uh, so if we want uh, the angular frequency, we want the angular frequency first in, in the units we, we would want to deal with. So um, 15.65 revolutions per day. So there are uh, two pi radians per revolution, and there are um, 20, uh, one day is 24 hours, and there are, and one hour is 3600 seconds. So multiplying by all these, we get 1.3, Eight one or one point one three eight one times ten to the minus three per second. Um, <clears throat> so our satellite and our Earth interact through our gravitational force. So G M S M E over R S E. And because they're in circular orbit, that must equal our centripetal force, which is m uh, v squared over r s e, uh, and that should be squared. Um, but we can also say that omega um, is v over r. Um, or we can say that omega squared is uh, v, uh, that would actually be v of the satellite. So that would be omega would be v of the satellite squared, omega squared would be v of the satellite squared over r s e squared. Or our V satellite squared is R squared omega squared, where this R is S E squared. Okay, so putting these values into our gravitational equation, we get that G M S M E over R S E squared. Um, and this would be the mass for the satellite, is the mass of the satellite times R S E squared, omega squared over R S E. So we can get some cancellations going here. So this is gonna cancel one of these. The mass of the satellite will cancel. And solving for our radius, we get uh, G M Earth over omega squared, or um, our radius is uh, the cube root of this factor. 
plugging in our values, our this radius, uh, sorry, one third. So that should have been one third in in there, not <laughs> just that. So plugging in our values. Uh, so for G. Uh, we use 6.674 times 10 to the minus 11 newtons meters squared per kilogram squared. Uh, for the mass of the Earth, we're using 5.972 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. And um, omega was just computed as 1.1381 times 10 to the minus 3 per seconds, and that's squared, and the whole thing's to the power of one third. Um, remember that a Newton is a kilogram meter per second squared, so the second squared down here will cancel with that. Um, this kilogram with that kilogram will call it cancel the kilogram squared, and we're going to have a meters cubed left over, which makes sense because we're going to cube root it, giving us an answer in meters. So going through, putting this all through our calculator, we get 6.751 times 10 to the 6 meters. So that's our radius from the center of the Earth. So it wants how far above the Earth's surface we are, so delta R is then the this radius from the center minus the uh, radius of the Earth, which is 6.371 times 10 to the 6 meters, or uh, in the end we get 0 0.380 times 10 to the 6 meters, which is about 380 kilometers, or is exactly equal to 380 kilometers. So we've estimated the radius of the space station's orbit at 380 kilometers above the Earth's surface. So now checking the solution. <clears throat> Um, so we're relating the gravitational force to the centripetal force. Um, and so those are all the same parameters as I used. Uh, rearranging to give you a cube root on your R. Um, our omega is, uh, I, I carried around a few extra values. Uh, <clears throat> and it shouldn't be in meters per second, it should be in one over seconds, but that's fine. Um, and also the units here on the gravitational constant are a little funny, but again, largely fine. Uh, the number that comes out is different from what I computed. So I don't know where that value comes from, um, but I would say it's all, the solution is correct. Um, check calculator results on R. So I'll say it's correct. I uh, just, I'm a little curious where some of the values come out at, but All right, and I'm going to um, end my stream there. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please subscribe. If you want to submit questions, you can do so with um, the, the links provided below the video. Uh, this has been Jeff Krause for One Class. And